this is Steve's garage and behind these doors there is a horror let's unlock these doors now and thus unlock the secrets of Steve's garage Ooh. this is the slug this thing is gonna supercharge our DE2 today and allow us to pull so many more hundreds of ton I'm sure there it is there's the slug behind us this is our helper locomotive which is gonna help push us up this hill because without it we're not going to be able to pull this 400 ton plus load with this tiny little locomotive that we have right here what's wrong with this slug this slug is the worst thing ever what made it over this hill i'm gonna jump up and down just a few times just like this we made it over the hill with this little de2 more than 400 ton up the hill out of harbor and town with the de2 and thank you as well slug that's really come at a cost of our fuel though but yes this is the end of the journey folks we have run out of fuel so it was bound to end up like this just light engine no train and no fuel hello everyone and welcome back to the channel this is episode 8 of the derail valley simulator career mode playthrough which i'm currently doing you can check out previous episodes if you haven't already they're in the description below of this video uh, and if you want to check out episode 7 which was the latest uh, episode just before this one i'll put a card up above as well on that one and you can check that out uh, if you haven't already but for those of you who have been following my career mode playthrough you'll know that i'm currently down here in harbour and town so we came here in the last episode and Yes, we did buy some uh, some licenses in the previous episode as well, didn't we? We did get the uh, multiple unit license and we also got uh, the uh, concurrent job one license as well, which is down here. And that multiple unit license at least allows us to do multiple unit running. So you can see like in the fee section here, I've got two DE2 uh, running costs, I guess, that have accrued. And this is from the previous episode. And so the copay is currently $11,000 to clear these out. And I've got a grand total of around $58,000 in the wallet as well from the last job. So we really racked up some, uh, some cash in the previous episode. Now that other license that we had to get as part of the multiple unit license was this concurrent orders one, which I did pick up in the last episode as well. Haven't really made use of this license just yet. That just allows us to run more than one job, uh, up to two jobs, I think it is at once. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today because in this episode I've got something just a little bit different planned. I know I did say I was going to buy the DH4 license in the last episode as well and take this job here of imported new vehicles from Harbour and Town across to City Southwest. I'm still going to take this job and still hopefully get that 50 grand. It's a 423 ton load as well. But I'm not going to use the DH4 to do it. So, hmm, what am I going to do? How am I going to move that long, heavy train to City Southwest? Hmm, well, I guess all will be revealed in the next few seconds. Do, 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 do. This is the shop within Harbour and Town. And this shop has something special. This shop has, hmm, well, empty shelves. But that's fine because what we need is on the back wall and no it's not the cassettes and no it's not the pocket watch either you might be able to guess what it is it is steve's garage key we're gonna get steve's garage key today and that's gonna allow us to get well what's the title of this video <laughs> kind of gives it away a little bit i realize but yes getting steve's garage key allows us to get something called a slug and this is, well, you'll be able to see in just a moment what it's all about. But basically, you need a key to get in the garage first and then unlock this slug vehicle, okay? And there is the key for Steve's garage. It's uh, got this little keychain on it, which has a little locomotive. How cute, look at that. Aww. Okay, so just looking back at the job now that we are gonna be doing today, this is the uh, freight hold job, which is taking a bunch of uh, imported vehicles, new vehicles from Harbour and Town, which is where we are right now, across the city southwest. Now, I'm hoping to use the slug for this, and there's a crazy incline, as we know, out of Harbour and Town. And there are a few more inclines on this map as well, but this is the route that I'm basically thinking of taking uh, here. I'm actually thinking of going up this way rather than the sawmill because there's a straighter run here. 
and even though there's a hill or hills going that way um, basically I think it's going to be a straighter run there's a inclined section right about here but we'll have the slug behind us anyway so I think it shouldn't be too bad once if we keep the momentum up once we pass through those points whereas here we've got a lot of little curves and uh, yeah little I guess lots of little lefts and rights and all that kind of stuff so it's gonna be a slower way going that way so anyway let's go ahead and get this job going so basically we'll get our freight haul job here so that's done unfortunately the clock's ticking now to get this job done and what I wanted to do as well before we leave here is just get manual servicing. Now, before we can do that, I think we do have to clear these fees out. So here's manual servicing, as you can see here, $20,000. We've got 58 grand in the wallet, so that should be fine. I did just spend 20 grand on Steve's garage key as well, I realize, but that's fine. The manual servicing license is really gonna help us out because that's gonna reduce our servicing costs by half. It's gonna cut everything in half, basically. So. Instead of paying the copay for the most part to clear out the servicing and damage costs and paying twice the amount, this manual servicing I think is really going to help us out. So yeah, we do need to clear those fees out. So let's go ahead and this is going to make it a little bit close actually because uh, we don't have 58 grand anymore. Um, seeing as we just spent 20 grand on Steve's garage key, we're going to go ahead and uh, clear out our fees. So we'll just do that. Okay. Oh, got to do it one by one very good now we can get our manual servicing so we'll go ahead and just get this I want to get manual servicing ASAP because our copay is quite high at the moment so manual servicing here we go let's go ahead and spend more money it seems okay so we've turned uh, <laughs> we're down to seven thousand six hundred dollars now in our wallet so no more 58 grand unfortunately but so we've purchased a uh, new license uh, manual service in this episode now and we've just got Steve's garage key which will get us the slug and don't worry I will explain what the slug is in just a moment I'm just uh, admiring my collection of uh, licenses right now I just put them in my backpack look at all them made some progress so far in Korea mode I must say it's taken eight episodes though so far but getting there slowly Okay, so we've got manual service. That's done. We don't have to get that ever again. And we've got Steve's garage key. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. And here we go to unlock the slug. So, yeah, I still haven't explained what the slug is. I will. Don't worry. We might as well go and get the slug now. So uh, let's go and do that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to move ourselves to where the slug is currently located. And that is basically in the far southeast corner of the map, just out of Harbour and Town. And there's a little bit of a hill climb in order to get there. But once you get there, there's a garage there. And that's where we'll be using our key to basically get the slug. Now the slug itself, um, as the name kind of suggests, it's a slow moving vehicle, but it doesn't actually move on its own. It needs a prime mover, okay? And for this episode at least, we're gonna be using the DE2, which is this little shunting engine here as the prime mover. And I think now might finally be a good time to explain just how this thing works, okay? So the slug, okay. The slug is basically a locomotive, which has been stripped of its engine, its diesel engine. It's basically a diesel electric locomotive. It used to be one. It's uh, it's basically the DE6 locomotive, as far as I understand. It's been stripped of its diesel engine, though, and it doesn't have a cab on it either, okay? So, basically, all it has is it's got its control system and it's got its motors, its traction motors in place, okay? And, basically, what you do is you hook it up to another compatible locomotive such as this one and the generator from this locomotive powers the motors in the slug okay so what you do what you end up with is you get a more even spread of your electrical current across more uh, traction motors and the slug itself is quite massive and that means that it's heavy it's normally loaded with concrete in real life these uh, slugs as they call them and that reduces wheel slip it doesn't have any sanders of its own as far as I understand and so basically what that does is it increases traction allows you to pull heavier trains okay so that's just a quick overview of what the slug is I know it doesn't really uh, say too much now until you actually see this thing in the flesh and we will be seeing it very shortly don't you worry I'm sure once you see this thing in operation it's gonna make a whole lot more sense 
And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to spin this locomotive around so that it's facing the right way so that when we do eventually head out of here, the poor old DE2 is facing the right way. So just bear with me one moment and I'll get that all set up. Okay, so we're heading east out of Harbour and Town at the moment. We just went through E Yard and that's uh, and incidentally where we need to pick up our load of vehicles later on once we get uh, connected up to the slug that is. We need to get the slug first. So I'm just heading out of Harbour and Town. Like I said, it is in the southeast corner of the map. So basically there is a set of switches here that lead to a siding. No, not that one. I think it's this one further up just here. Yeah, there it is. See that incline heading out of uh, Harbour and Town there? I remember in a very early build I went up there uh, that was quite a hard slog trying to get up there though with the steam engine and uh, yeah basically it would lead to nowhere until uh, build 96 which is the build of this version of Derail Valley Simulator right now so yes at the end of that incline is Steve's garage so let's go ahead and uh, head up that incline right now with this old DE2 and uh, yeah we'll head in that direction and at the end of that track is Steve's garage okay so just heading up that incline now there's Harbour and Town on our right hand side as you can see and we're basically just going up this track right now and as I said it's actually there's quite a bit of incline here so and the other thing as well to just be mindful of is that the speed limits can be quite low around here as well I think it's actually like a five and a half percent gradient coming up here in front of us actually so kind of have to get the power on even with an unloaded locomotive like this it's really struggling right now to get up this hill so you really um really got to be ready for this you don't want to bring any wagons up here with you you want to go up here um as a light engine as they call it so that you've got the best chance of getting up this hill because it's definitely quite an incline so there's a little bit of snaking left and right as we go and uh, we'll be at steve's garage very shortly Okay, so almost there now, just been uh, traveling for a few minutes, and there it is, it's in sight. At the end of this track is Steve's Garage. Okay, so let's get ready on the brake here. We've got our key with us, which is what we need. So we'll just uh, inch up to the doors here, don't want to get too close. But I just want to have the light shining on this thing, because I just want to see what it looks like. This is Steve's Garage, and behind these doors, there is a horror. The likes of which you've never seen before in Derail Valley. Let's unlock these doors now and thus unlock the secrets of Steve's Garage. Ooh. Well, that's it. That's the slug. There it is in all its glory. So here it is. Basically, this looks like a DE6, doesn't it? The uh, diesel electric locomotive that uh, I still haven't managed to play yet in this game because it's uh, basically the biggest and probably most powerful locomotive in the game. But the difference here is this thing is just loaded with concrete or like ballast. There's no diesel engine inside there, okay? So you can't open those doors and look at a diesel engine. And there's no cab either. The only thing it's got, well, the only thing, the main thing it's got, I guess, is all of its bogies, obviously. It's got the six axles. So it's got um, one, two, three, so you can see there. And then four, five, six, thus the DE6 that it used to be and each axle has a traction motor still in play, okay? So, as I was saying before, it's got its brake shoes, you can see there as well, which is obviously important. Basically, what it will do is, by using the uh, multiple unit cable here, as you can see, this thing works very much like a normal locomotive, but it saps power from the generator of another locomotive, which you'll hook up to it, and basically it will power its own motors using the generated power from your prime moving locomotive, okay? So the main, obviously I did kind of give you a bit of an overview before, the main advantage here is it's a heavier locomotive which can split your generator's load and basically mean that your ampere loading, your amps loading is gonna be a lot lower for a given throttle setting, okay? And we'll test that out in just a moment once I hook up to this thing you'll see that once you accelerate in the DE2, the generator is, uh, the amps load for each motor is basically divided across a whole lot more motors, okay? So what that means is a less tendency to wheel slip, 
you've basically got another set of motors putting the power down and it should translate long story short finally into increased pulling power okay so it's going to turn this de2 into um yeah a uh, a more capable locomotive so this de2 that i'm driving right here normally it's rated for around 200 or so ton now i'm going to try and pull today as i mentioned before as part of that job i'm going to try and pull 423 ton with essentially just the DE2 and this slug okay so just getting this thing hooked up here it does obviously need this multiple unit cable and thus the multiple unit license which is why I thought I'd do this today because um, yeah why not why not why not give this thing a go it's only just been released as well in build 96 so I thought why not give it a go and I do realize I'm in career mode as well so really got to be careful with this and uh, I don't have much money in my wallet, so if things go wrong, I really have to be careful not to bankrupt myself. A good rule of thumb is to keep at least your copay amount uh, in your wallet ready to go in case of any issues. Obviously, $11,000 at least we're going to need. Um, I didn't check the copay. I think it actually went up a little bit uh, when I got that manual servicing license even. So, But yeah, I've got nowhere near that amount of money right now, so really I can't afford to mess things up in career mode right now really got to make sure that we complete this job today without much issue uh, but yes the good news is uh, looks like the lights are all set up so let's get on out of here and go back to harbour and town and hook up to our load of imported new cars just make sure the handbrake's off there now heading down this hill is going to be uh, certainly interesting because we've got this slug weighs 125 ton or thereabouts and you can see already there that the amps loading is quite low because the slug is now actually pushing us along as well using the power from the DE2. Anyway, let's go down this mountain and back to Harbour and Town. Just make our way down this. Oh, look at that. Minus 5.5%. So yeah, that's a, that's a huge downhill basically that we're going down. And obviously going up to Steve's garage, you're going up a 5.5% hill as well. So like I said before, if you're going to go and get the slug, make sure you just go up there, light engine, and you can make it up with the DE2 as you've just seen, because I've just done it. So we're just heading back down now, back towards Harbour and Town, and we'll head back into the E yard and get this thing all hooked up. Okay, now the other thing with this as well is that ideally the slug should be behind me so that it's not in my way, although the way that the slug is designed, as you can see there, is it's quite low profile. Obviously we're in the DE2, so this is the smallest little shunting locomotive, but even so, the slug doesn't really take up too much of the forward visibility, but all the same, I want to basically run around and put the slug so that it's behind me, okay? So that I've got a nice uh, unobstructed view in front of me, because this is the direction that we do need to head on out of here. But yes, this is basically what the slug looks like, okay? That's the side profile of this thing. It is one long locomotive chassis, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, it really doesn't look like much, but this thing is going to supercharge our DE2 today and allow us to pull so many more hundreds of ton, I'm sure. All right, let's get this thing uncoupled here and uh, we'll go ahead and run around and go and hook up to the other end of this locomotive. And what I'm going to do as well is just a quick test of the amp rating. So you'll see what the amps are like when you accelerate with the slug and without the slug as well. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's test it out. So notch one and look at the amp meter. Okay, the ammeter. Oh, look at that. See, it jumps up to over 400 amps there. Almost 500 amps. And then it drops off around 10k an hour. So what we'll do as well is once we run around to the other side and hook up to the other end of it, we'll see what the amp rating is like. Okay, so just coming up to the other end of the slug now. Nice and easy. I forgot to put the handbrake on, on the slug, but that's fine. Should be able to, uh, yeah, hang on. Let's just put the brake on. Let's put the handbrake on so that it doesn't move. And get it all coupled up once again. So basically for the slug, you need to obviously couple up brake hose, your normal coupling. And of course, you need that multiple unit cable as well, as we did see just before. So here goes the multiple unit cable, and for this you need that license as was just mentioned as well. Okay, so, this, and that's it, that's the slug ready to go now, it's powered on. 
we do need to set the lights up again so we'll go ahead and just set the lights and then it basically operates like any other multi-unit locomotive you can see the red lights on the back of it and there's no red light on our leading locomotive but the headlights are on our leading locomotive which is just great okay so let's do an amp test notch one once again and watch the ammeter look at that it's only doing about 100 amps see that and okay we're taking a little bit more time to speed up but the important thing is the load of the electricals are spread across those extra six motors okay so basically the term slug means that you generally do move slower but you do have more tractive force tractive effort and hopefully less wheel spin i mean i'm not sure if you could ever get wheel spin in the slug if you do i'm not sure what to do about it because i don't think you can deploy a sanding mechanism on there but yes you can see there that the amps are much lower and it's a more smoother power delivery as well okay so DE2's generator is now powering eight motors not just the two motors of the DE2 shunter okay so look at that that's that's much better already so it's going to be really interesting to tackle that hill going out of harbour and town using this slug that's behind us I'm hoping that even though it's adding an extra 125 ton to our train all that extra weight is giving us more down force on the rails and more traction basically and because of those motors we're spreading out our power and yeah it should transform this de2 nicely so okay let's get all hooked up to the train and we'll go ahead and get on out of here finally here comes the slug nice and easy just how we like it okay so this is our load of imported vehicles which is going to city southwest that's our destination today now I recently had on my channel a DM3 card up above in sandbox mode and I pulled a whole lot more cars than this so yeah I'm hoping that it's not really going to be a problem today we've got nine cars I believe today and a total of uh, as I was saying before we've got a total of 423 ton I did 658 ton out of here in the DM3 try not to brag too much there but can you tell that I love the DM3 <laughs> Uh, okay very good now handbrakes are off on the wagons there which is very good and I think we're ready to basically get on out of here finally so we're all hooked up let's go ahead and signal our intent and get on out of here now one thing to be mindful of is this is only a DM2 shunting locomotive at the end of the day so as much as we've got the slug on the back here we still only have this diesel engine and it's rated really more for this locomotive only so it's not really designed to have an extra six traction motors hooked up to it but even so it looks like the amp ratings there would be well and truly in the yellow by now if it was just a de2 be like you know doing this run but because we've got the slug the slug is definitely helping spread that load right now and it's moving us off quite nicely i must say so yeah i love how low those amps are right now so yeah what we'll do is we'll get the speed up. I know the day's getting on a little bit. We've spent quite a bit of time getting the slug so far and just uh, moving to and fro around the map and uh, only just starting the job now. So I know we're not gonna get a time bonus and to be honest with you, I probably shouldn't have validated the job so early, but also I was worried that the job was gonna despawn when I left the valley. That's why I went ahead and validated that job when I did. So anyway, job's going if I miss out on the time bonus that's not too bad it's still 50 grand base pay let's go ahead and just move this map over here and we'll try and get some momentum going because there's a nice incline out of harbour and town as we know we were only here in the episode before last trying to get out of here as well but today we'll be leaving in a different direction we'll be heading east uh, sorry to the west we're not going to be heading north or anything like that so once we get over that incline we'll make sure that the points are set correctly and we'll be going um, up here and all the way across to uh, city southwest so we'll see if we can get up to probably 30 40 k's now coming up out of here before we hit this incline i don't want to go past 40 because that could derail the train we don't want to do that there's the slug a very stately slug behind us there seems to be going well so far let's uh, continue on 
and uh, we should be attacking that hill very shortly indeed. Let's get the power going a little bit more. Just want to get a little bit more speed if we can. You can see there's the DH4 that I was thinking of driving out of here, but wasn't meant to be DH4. See you next time. Maybe I'll grab the license for the DH4 soon as well. I do want to get license for the DM3 as well. It's a shame I haven't got that just yet in career mode. I've just been getting all these other licenses. <laughs> anyway, why not make things a little bit fun, huh? I've never tried the slug until now, so this is the first time I'm trying it. And look at those amps, they're really low. Okay, we've got some speed now going around this curve. There it is, there's the slug behind us. This is our helper locomotive, which is going to help push us up this hill, because without it, we're not going to be able to pull this 400 ton plus load with this tiny little locomotive that we have right here. I'm hoping that this slug behind us, right there, is going to help us get up this hill. Here we go. Let's put the power down. Looking good, looking good. Just trying to get more momentum if we can. The amps are just really low right now. It's kind of scary, but I'm going to go for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Those amps are still so low right now. That is really... That's looking really good. Look at that. Looking good so far. Look at that. I just love how the temperatures are low on the traction motors. The amps are low as well. And we seem to be holding speed so far. So far, so good. Okay, it's starting to slow down a little bit now. Okay, starting to slow. Come on, pick up those amps, pick up those amps. What are you doing? We're slowing down. Come on, slug. Push. Push. Let's just put that there. We've got enough momentum, we're going, we're going, we're doing this, we're doing this. Uh, at the same time, I'm starting to get a little bit worried here. Okay, the amps are coming up now, that's good. That means there's more power being, being put down, surely. Uh, here's the worst of the grade, more or less. But the junction's coming up, so we're not too far away now. Come on, come on, you can do this, you can do this. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I'm a little bit worried. 400 amps, okay, that's what we want. And the traction motor temperatures are nice and cool still. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is the slug after all. So maybe, maybe it's got some sort of secret power at this uh, low speed. Let's just flip those points over because we need to go straight. Come on, slug. Come on. Show us your true colors. Where's that secret push that you've got? Oh no, this is not looking good at all. It's still slowing down. I'm gonna have to back off the throttle a little bit here. Oh dear. This is not looking good. Come on. Come on, slug. Oh, the traction motor temperatures are hot. The amps are high, temperatures are hot. I'm gonna have to back off the throttle, I think. One last ditch effort, come on, come on, you can do this. Oh my God, it's actually stalled the train. We're moving backwards. What's wrong with this slug? This slug is the worst thing ever. What? Oh well, this is definitely not what I was expecting from this slug. 
And to be fair, I guess this is just a DE2. There is no way in heck we could have done this with just a DE2 on its own. But then again, there's a slug behind us. <laughs> well, I think we're going to just have to go back down the hill, I think, towards Harbour and Town and just take another run at this. And this time, I guess I'll try and go a little bit faster if I can. And... I've just realized as well, we've used quite a bit of fuel, so yeah. Anyway, let's go back down the hill and see what, what happens. Okay, well, back at Arbor and Town, unfortunately the day is really getting on. And the other unfortunate thing is this little DE2 has really chewed through its fuel as well. It's at half a tank already, and we're still here at Arbor and Town. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to have to go, and thankfully I've got my manual servicing license, because now I can go ahead and refuel this thing without uh, costing an arm and a leg. And the other thing is, though, is I'm running quite low on cash, so that is the other consideration as well. But I'm just going to pull forward here, leave the train behind us, go and fill up, and then I guess we'll try and just take one more run at that hill, and hopefully we make it on the second attempt. Okay, so just pulling into the engine shed here at Harbour and Town. Okay, so there's that DH4 probably just laughing at us as well. <laughs> this is the, uh, the diesel spout, diesel pump that we need. And there's our diesel filler. So let's just go ahead and, oops, need to click and hold. Go ahead and just, uh, Plug that in and you can see they're down to half a tank so yeah let's go ahead and uh, yeah fill it up there's really not much left in my wallet either that's off that's three thousand two hundred dollars holy moly okay well uh, this is really gonna take another chunk of change out of the old wallet oh man we were already down to 7,000, now we're down to 4.3. Four, so if we have to fill up again, that's the end of our cash, basically. So really, I really don't know what we're going to do here, folks, because this thing is chewing the fuel, and we still haven't left Harbour and Town. Now, one thing I could have done as well is probably just take another DE2, but how many more DE2s am I going to take after this? I mean, instead of refill this. Uh, but that's a point. Maybe I should have uh, coupled up to a second DE2 and uh, have two DE2s plus the slug rather than just one. Maybe that's what I need to do, but you know what? I'm going to take one more run at this incline and hopefully that is going to uh, be sufficient with some additional momentum. The other thing is it's getting dark as well, so maybe once I hook up to this train again, I'll have to go and have a little nap and we'll resume proceedings in the morning in the game because I don't want to drive at night time especially for the video it just makes things a lot more difficult for you guys to see as well for you guys and girls to uh, just see what's going on so yeah it's unfortunate but we haven't managed to make it out of Harbour and Town yet <laughs> uh, oh well let's see alright I'm just coupling up again I feel like I've done this so many times in this video already. I've decided I'm gonna have a little sleep and then we'll resume in the morning. So let's have a little sleep, at least that way it'll be nice and daylight, fresh day tomorrow. <sighs> well, the bad news is, it seems like the weather's come in overnight and Unfortunately, that means that we're going to be driving in the pouring rain, okay? So not only now do we have this hill that we still have to get up, but we've also got rain, wet rails, and more potential of slippy slideys and wheel slip and all that kind of fun stuff. So, <sighs> at least it's nice and early though, it's 4.30 in the morning, so we should be getting a nice little jump on the day, try and get out of here nice and early. Here is another DE2. Maybe I should be hooking this up to the front of the train. No lie. Maybe I should actually do that. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
If I can't get up the hill, I'm going to come back and do that. How about that? Let's give it one more red hot go and just see what happens. Okay, so not wasting any time here. Let's get this thing moving and start it up. Because we got a full tank of fuel there, as you can see. Filled this thing up. Let's get moving. Let me just put... Yep, that's very good. Only one set of handbrakes. Okay, that's good, that's good. Wipers on full, unfortunately. Wipers on full. Alright. I think we could... We're going to try and keep the momentum up this time. I'm trying to make a getaway there in the neutral. <laughs> Alright, no fooling. Uh, part of me is thinking I should actually just wait. Why isn't this thing moving? Oh, it is moving. Never mind. I think it's just me. Look at that visibility. I can't believe it. This is absolutely horrible. I really don't like our chances, to be honest with you, but I'm hoping... I'm hoping this second run's going to do it. I'm not going to hang around here. I probably should have reversed a little bit further back as well, to be honest with you, but let's see what happens. Visibility is really, really low right now. The fog has really descended on the valley. This is horrible. Okay, come on, come on. I can hardly see where I'm going right now. The rest of the train is just in a fog. This slug is really not all it's cracked up to be, I realize. Or maybe it's just because I've only got one DE2 and I'm, I'm really trying to pull more than probably double its rated uh, tonnage at the moment. So maybe that's too much to expect. Because really, it is just one prime mover at the end of the day, just one generator, so... Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't want to speak too soon, but let's get the power going. I can hardly see where I'm going. I can see that we are on the curve, though. really can't see the rest of the train there, that's amazing. Alright, here we go, here we go, full power, full power, let's go, let's go! This is the second attempt, we've got to be able to do this, otherwise... I'm gonna throw the towel in. <laughs> Alright. Picking up speed even, that's good, that's good. Come on, come on, come on, we gotta do this, we gotta do this. We have to make this. I don't wanna go back down this hill a second time. Mm, starting to slow down. I feel like the amps are climbing a little bit sooner this time around, maybe. I don't know. can do this. Up the hill we go. Trains going through the fog. I don't know, I don't know. There's the junction coming up shortly, and we're just on the 2.4% section. Come on, we can do this, come on! Come on, we have to do it, we have to. We must make it up this hill. Come on, slug. Don't make me regret taking this. <laughs> taking you. I 
really wishing for the DM3 right now. <laughs> I know the DM3 would have taken us up this hill. Oh, we're starting to spin. We're starting to spin. That's the rain. That's the rain doing that. Get the sand on. Get the sand on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. There goes our temps again. I'm gonna have to back off. I'm gonna have to back off. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. I can't believe this. Oh, it's still holding the momentum. Come on. Five kilometers an hour. I can't. It's right on the red line. There's the set of points. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, slug. Slug. Hello, slug. Are you there? Are you behind us? We have to get over this hill. We simply have to. Otherwise... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have made it! We have made it! Yes! Yes! Made it over this hill! I'm gonna jump up and down just a few times, just like this. Just jumping for joy here, don't mind me. <laughs> made it! Made it! Made it! We made it over the hill with this little DE2. More than 400 ton up the hill. Out of Harbour and Town with the DE2. And thank you as well, Slug. Uh... That's really come at a cost of our fuel though. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough fuel to make it now. For the rest of the trip. I guess we'll have to deal with that later. And we've got no money almost as well now. Somehow I think this is going to be one hell of a crazy journey. Right, so where are we? I think that, well, looks like the sun's coming out a little bit. That's what I think. Uh, it's like we've chewed through one third of our fuel, pretty much. Or one fourth, one quarter of our fuel is gone already. So, I'm hoping now that we've got more level terrain ahead of us, I'm going to be able to back off the throttle a little bit, keep the RPMs down around 800 to 1000 RPM maybe on the engine, and hopefully save a bit of fuel because I'm really worried to be honest with you. Worst case scenario, if this thing runs out of fuel, I don't even want to think about it, but we'll have to see what happens, I guess, fuel-wise, because yeah, that really is not looking good fuel-wise, and I'm just keeping it at around a thousand RPM right now, and let's just see how it goes. We are speeding up, thankfully. Let's load on the engine now, so hopefully it's just, yeah, it's that incline coming out of the harbour, you know how it is, you've probably watched my videos before, hopefully, and if you haven't, well, welcome aboard, by the way, for those of you who have just joined the channel, great to have you aboard. I, I, I just don't know, I, I, I don't know what, what's going to happen with this thing, if we run out of fuel, I'm just trying to run through some scenarios in my head, maybe I can decouple take the engine to a different location, pick up another engine, maybe bring that back. Uh, maybe even get the steam shunter, bring that back and just continue on with the steam shunter, I don't know. Unfortunately, if we find the DM3, I don't have a DM3 license, so this is the way we're going to be snaking through anyway. And yeah, we're going to have to, um, yeah, I don't know, I think I'm going to go up maybe via forest forest south and just see it's important that we pass by forest south because maybe there's another DE2 there and maybe we can swap DE2s around if you know what I mean there's no way I'm going back to Harper and Town now sorry uh, and I realize now I probably should have just picked up that second DE2 that probably would have made things a lot better because I think having just one DE2 like this and over 400 ton of uh, of load is just too much for the old DE2. 
it's definitely too much on its own but even with the slug I think it's too much so there you go I guess these things you don't really know until you try it. and what better way to try it than in career mode hey eh? <laughs> really I should have been doing this in sandbox mode but oh well there you go I guess I'm bringing you all the hard-hitting experiments in derail valley This weather is really coming down. I really picked a bad day to be doing this. Well, I've given up all hope of getting the time bonus anyway. So, yeah, to recap, I think we are somewhere... Well, I think we're somewhere around there at the moment. Just, uh... Yeah, let's have another look. Uh, probably... Yeah, around there, I think. And then we still need to go... Take the left-hand turn when we get to those points there. I don't know, I don't know. This is completely unscripted and this is the way it's turned out unfortunately and but uh pawn anything could happen anyway. And I'm I'm ready for whatever whatever may eventuate, even if we have to break the train up. I'm hoping we won't have to cancel the job. I'm just, I'm really worried about our fuel levels. I know that they're really coming down. But we'll see how we go. Maybe Forest Central. Uh, sorry, Forest South will have something for us. DE2 wise. I'm thankful for this level terrain. 800 RPM. Let's try and keep it in that sweet spot. We still got three quarters in our tank, three quarters fuel, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens, eh? We'll keep on snaking through through this horrible weather and see where we end up. So I'll catch you all shortly. Okay, well we've been uh, just uh, trundling along for a little while now. Still just snaking our way along the bottom of the map there in a westerly direction. And unfortunately, we're not really making much progress speed-wise. I thought that we'd be on straights and we'd be making some good headway speed-wise. But yeah, I've been keeping this thing around the 800 RPM mark for a little while now. Just trying to preserve fuel. But unfortunately, we're down to half a tank of fuel at the moment. And speed-wise, like I said, we've really slowed down. So... Weather's come in as well as we uh, continue on. At some point I'm just going to have to increase the throttle I think and just try and get this thing moving a bit faster because the more we trundle along at this slow speed it's really taking our fuel economy and throwing it down the drain so at the same time our brakes are definitely off. I, I've just got this sneaking feeling that the brakes are on but they're not, I'm pretty sure they're not. All we can really do is just keep on trundling and see how far our fuel takes us. Just under half a tank of fuel at the moment, so... Yes, them's the brakes. They were, those were the brakes. <laughs> Speed limits around here are pretty low anyway. I'm gonna have to break my 800 RPM uh, self-imposed rule, I think, and just get this thing moving. I'm really worried about our fuel levels right now. Okay, so... Just been uh, trundling along as usual for a little bit longer. Now I'm just trying to make sense of where we are on the map because we are under half a tank of fuel at the moment and I can see there there's a little section of rail jutting out there I think I think that's it I think that's where we are right now so around that curve we still got a fair way to go before we even come upon that junction there and we need to go straight through there and then because I want to cross through um, well yeah should be a straight run there but then we've got uh, a right hand curve and we've got a, th I think we've got hills right about there. Actually we've got incline as we come up to forest south, but 
yeah I do want to just make sure that we make it through forest south at least like I was saying because that's where I'm hoping there is more locomotives well a locomotive another DE2 would be great if we just swap the DE2 over we'll have a full tank of fuel to take us the rest of the way because there's no diesel service anywhere in sight I think the next diesel service is a little bit out of the way and that's actually at steel mill and I don't want to go to steel mill if I can avoid it if there's a DE2 at Forest South I think that would be ideal but yeah our train is really just grinding to a halt right now uh, because of our low fuel I don't know I don't know we're almost down to the last quarter of our fuel tank now so yeah almost in the red zone we're well and truly in the yellow zone on the fuel gauge don't know what to do just gonna try and make the best of it if we run out of fuel then I'm getting out and walking the rest of the way I guess so that's about all we can really do Ah, uh, we'll see been hitting the throttle a little bit harder since my last update and yeah what you heard there is the ring that just signifies that we've just entered the red zone on our fuel gauge so yes there's that just been trying to keep our speed up around at least over 10 because we had been trundling at say 5k's an hour for way too long there I estimate that we are more or less in this region right here at the moment so we really haven't made too much progress since Harbour and Town well we've made some progress but judging by the amount of fuel that we've used it's very disproportionate to the amount of uh, progress we've made along the map that's for sure so horn yeah there's another buzzer and the buzzer just keeps on going saying hey you're running out of fuel you're running out of fuel out of fuel it's a shame but we'll keep on going and see I just I want to see if we can make forest south somehow I don't know I've, I'm just hoping against hope right now because our fuel is just getting eaten up like it's almost like we've got a fuel leak or something I know that we don't that's not possible in the game at least at the moment as far as I'm aware but Let's see how far we get. Okay, I can see a, a bridge in the distance, so I think that's it there. Yes, alright. So that means we're getting close to those points. I estimate that we're probably around here right now. Just before those set of points anyway. Yes, there's the other bridge as well. Okay, yep, alright. Very good. Now our fuel level, if you can see on the gauge there, is uh, pretty much in the dregs. So... I don't think we're gonna make it folks I'm sorry I think I think we're gonna run out of fuel there's no way we're gonna make this okay I've made the executive decision I am going to stop this train because enough is enough I don't think all this trundling is gonna yield any success we're not gonna make it we are not gonna make this journey the way that we're going so this is what I'm going to do I am going to break the train up but yes this is the end of the journey folks we have run out of fuel so that's all she wrote unfortunately we can't continue with the amount of fuel that we've got so this train cannot proceed any further with the fuel in the poor old DE2 and we're nowhere near the destination so that's it for now at least that's it for the train, but not for this locomotive. I've still got some dregs of fuel left in the tank, so you know what? I have decided I'm going to leave the train there for the moment, and I probably should have done this before when I had a little bit more fuel to go, but I'm going to see if I can't make a run for Forest South, okay? I think I've got enough fuel to do it. I'm just going to have to coast, maybe turn the engine off along the way as well. But now that we are light engine mode, we should be making a lot of progress. This beats walking or running or even teleporting because we can't teleport that far anyway with the career mode. So yes, let's, uh, let's just turn the engine off and enjoy the sights and sounds. 
of nature. Let's see how far we get. I might have to just turn the engine on and off a little bit as we go, but I think we should be able to make it to Forest South like this. more or less in this location here we just need to make sure that the points are set correctly as we come on over to the points themselves they're fine okay let's see how far we go got an incline here so I might have to turn the engine on for a little bit shortly but yes I'll check in with you shortly because we've still got quite a distance to go here you know what that's Forest Central right over there so that's nice there is a bit of an incline leading up to that but at the moment we are just coasting just coasting basically have no fuel right now I can't see either if there's a DE2 up there or a DM3 or what a steam shunter maybe that would be fine as well a steam shunter would be great a DE2 would be great either of those two if it's a DM3 then yeah no hope because we don't have a DM3 license so we'll just have to see what's at Forest South back with you shortly okay this is the last curve before forest south and let's see what's there oh my god oh my god there's a dm3 there i've been looking for a dm3 in career mode for a while and now that i can't use it because i don't have the money or the license or whatever then the game says here has it have a dm3 so there's only one locomotive at, at these types of small stations so i'm gonna have to just go through with whatever fuel i've got left here because there's nothing else i can do i think the only other thing i can do right now is just continue on towards the steel mill so yes whatever fuel i've got i'm gonna have to make it last till the steel mill somehow this is turning out to be one, one massive calamity, I'm afraid. Okay, well, I think the road to, um, to the steel mill is mostly downhill, so I'm just going to have to see how that goes. Like, we, we're basically, I think we're we're pretty much like if you look at the fuel levels there <laughs> we have nothing left almost nothing almost nothing all right well let's see if we can't make the steel mill with the amount of fuel we've got it was bound to end up like this just light engine no train and no fuel but the good thing is at least we are making progress towards the steel mill so i'm hoping that we can get at least one DE2 there so still got a, a fair journey ahead of us folks so uh, that's our approximate location heading towards the steel mill and I'll check in with you all once we get there once I get there and we'll see what's what's waiting for us hopefully not a DM3 never thought I'd say that <laughs> well made it to the steel mill and here's a fresh DE2 oh wait no oh, there's two DE2s hmm Where's the other one? Well, the one we've been driving this entire time is actually in the engine shed. And what I'm thinking of doing is potentially putting a bit of fuel in it. I can't afford to fill it right up to the top, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna fill up whatever I can, leave a bit of money in the wallet, and just go triple head with this thing, and take three DM2s, DE2s, 
Why do I keep saying DM? Uh, I'll take three of these things back to the train and because I am beginning to feel like this is never going to end otherwise and I don't want to take any chances with just two of these things. I know that two of these should be sufficient especially with the slug behind us as well but I'm just going to go ahead and make it three because I, um, I, I just at this point in time I can't waste any more time and I just want to finish this drop. We are way over the time bonus so I'm, I've given up all hope of getting the time bonus but I'm gonna go ahead and get the original one that we've been driving this whole time and hook this up as well I think I'm just gonna put some fuel in it and then uh, make it the lead locomotive or something so let's do that ah, the old faithful DE2 which we've been driving this whole time I threw this fuel nozzle down just before that's off camera in a little bit of a huff because I was just wasn't sure what I should be doing I was kind of panicked a little bit but anyway I think that's enough for it half a tank because we've got another two over there so this is this will be number three now or number one and the other two will be two and three I don't know anyway let's uh let's get them all hooked up shall we there they are that's the dream team we've got three of these things uh ready for the trip and you know what i've decided i'm gonna spend the night here at steel mill because once again the day is drawing to a close so this is day two now that we've been trying to do this job i can't believe it this is uh okay all right well the majority of day one was taken up trying to get the slug into position but yeah tomorrow we're gonna take this thing we're gonna blast down those tracks i tell you and we are going to get that train and we're gonna deliver it to city southwest okay i made an early morning start once again this is now day three we are leaving the steel mill we're gonna go down and i think we're gonna hang a lift take a bit of a shortcut and our train awaits us right there basically so yeah i'm not gonna go down through forest south because i think that's just unneeded there's no need to pass through forest south anymore i know what's there I'm gonna try and take a shortcut and get this thing done because yeah there's no need to pass through and make the journey longer than it needs to be yeah we'll go down this way like this okay folks well we've been driving all morning we made an early morning 4 a.m start it's now probably like 7 a.m or something shadows are still quite long more or less dawn we've got our three dm2s in tow ready to go and our train should be waiting patiently for us with our beloved slug just around this corner hopefully shouldn't be too far away now should be coming into view any second and there it is there's the slug right where we left it yesterday at least it hasn't moved or roll and rolled back somewhere and fallen off a cliff and exploded into a million pieces although that probably wouldn't be the worst thing <laughs> uh, it's okay it's okay we'll get this thing done I think I should be angry or a little bit miffed more at the DE2s than the uh, <laughs> than the slug maybe I don't know I got misplaced anger I shouldn't be angry it's a beautiful day come on I can get this thing going there's a solution for everything except for death and taxes I guess all right we're all connected up we're all connected I've been running with one of the DE2s turned off you can actually sh shut down the individual DE2s as you go so from here on I think we should hopefully have an easier go at this so maybe I should have done this in the beginning but there you go I don't think we need three actually of these DE2s I think two is probably okay but to be honest with you I think at the point where you've got two DE2s I was already pulling a load like this in the previous episode with the two DE2s so yes I don't really think that we need the slug but there you go all right let's get going oh I can definitely hear the three throttles moving the sound of three throttles when I move one and the amps are really rising up there 600 amps seems like we're having some trouble moving I think we're okay though I'm not hearing any squeal sounds and looks like we're all connected up Yeah, that's just checking these uh, multi-unit cables you know as you do 
I want to make sure the slug is actually not a hundred percent slug and is actually helping us because that would just be wonderful at this point if I had forgotten to connect up the slug okay making some good progress already I don't think we're gonna have any trouble now folks so sit back and just relax definitely got some uh, power I think going here So we'll need to be bearing off to the left in a moment. Sun's coming up. It's a beautiful day today, actually. Birds are singing. I don't think it's going to rain today, at least. We had some terrible rain just yesterday, but hopefully that's not going to be the case today. Looks like a cloudless day, actually, so... All three of the DE2s working right now to supply power to the slug as well as themselves. And yes, it looks like we're having no trouble whatsoever. We've only got just over half a tank of fuel in this leading one. This leading DE2, this is the original one which we've been driving this entire time. So my poor old wallet's taken a beating, but somehow managed to put another bit of another load of fuel in there I think that should be enough okay so we're gonna go up here this way and over across to city southwest so we're gonna be crossing over the bridge and there's a little bit of an incline uh, yeah there's a few inclines ahead of us but I don't think it should be a problem let's just make sure this switch is set correctly and onto the bridge we go right time for a bit of fun we've got three DE2s let's see how fast we can accelerate this train with the slug attached yeah 1000 amps oh look at that thing go it's over 400 ton right now and that thing is accelerating up no one's business that's three de2s plus the slug all right all right all right we almost cooked our motors there so let's get off the throttle uh, okay well at least we had some fun on this journey So we've got a set of switches coming up here and we just want to make sure that uh, we head off to the left hand side this time because we are basically at the base of Forest South here. We did actually fly through here before with our light engine but we went off to the right hand side and tried to find, ooh, going a bit fast here. I'm just trying to get this thing over to City Southwest as fast as I can right now. And I really hope I don't derail this thing. Things are getting a little bit hectic right now. Getting a little bit reckless and restless, I must say. Come on, gotta keep the composure. I know it's been one one big journey indeed, and it's still not over. <laughs> it's taken us three days in the game. <laughs> and it's all the slugs fault. Or the DE2. Whichever one. Maybe both. Yeah, they're both at fault. If I had just gotten that DH4 license, like I was planning to, and left the original uh, location, Harbour and Town, with this load, with the DH4, this would have been a very, very different episode. But it wasn't. But once again, where's the fun in that? Hmm? <laughs> actually, I, would have, I thought that the DH4 would have been a fun, fun drive, actually, along this section of the map that we are moving at the moment but yes maybe in one of the future episodes we'll be able to purchase the DH4 and I want to get the DM3 license as well so yeah there's two more locomotives I still want to purchase the licenses for because these DE2s are driving me a little bit crazy and yeah I don't know this slug was probably a bad idea I just had a bit of a whim when I was reading the forums I thought let's try the slug and look how that turned out. Okay, we are turning north now. 
we need to uh, go through these points here to start heading up towards city southwest this is the original plan this is how i wanted to go and avoid going past sawmill because i think this road this way is a little bit straighter and i had this leading uh, dh de2 turned off for a little bit just to save its fuel because we were on a level for the most part but now we're going up a hill so i'm just getting the third de2 going and yeah now we've got three working And here comes the hill. And once we're over this hill, I tell you, we are pretty much at the approach of City Southwest. Finally, let's get the power going here because I'm being a little bit careless. I know that uh, we got heaps of fuel and heaps of horsepower, so let it burn for a while until it actually does catch fire and then we probably don't want it to to burn speaking of have you ever seen a DE2 burning? <laughs> uh, I put a card up above to uh, one of my previous episodes there where I did manage to catch it on fire thankfully that hasn't happened in this episode at least so that's something to be thankful for isn't it? Looks like we're making light work of this hill, so yeah, no problem at all. Although the motors are quite hot as well. Let's put this wheel back down there. So we're about in this location right here at the moment. We are just at the mouth almost of City Southwest. Almost there, almost there. Let's get off the power a little bit because I feel like it's speeding up. The whole train's speeding up. I think we're over the hill now. <laughs> In more ways than one. Ooh, no, 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 too fast, too fast, too fast. Uh, I just have this... rational or irrational fear these DE2s just love to jump off the rails because they're very light. So... All we need now is a derailment and then I'll... I'll pop my wallet out and I'll have a look at the $400 I've got left in there. Yeah. Got a junction coming up. Head left. And then straight ahead into City Southwest. Okay, there it is. There's the junction up ahead. So I've just flipped that over. So it's now in the right direction. I'll just uh, bring the speed down on the control a little bit. Because we don't want to be going too fast. Not after coming this far. And... Uh, we really don't want to bin the train after all this time. That would really be a shame, I think. There is 50 grand riding on this after all, so I want my 50,000 after having spent almost 50,000 just on getting this job moving when, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, if I was to get the DH4 license and take the DH4 for this episode, I would have spent 50 grand on that anyway. So really, We've achieved the same thing, haven't we? The only thing I could have done actually to keep the costs down this episode was probably just take the two DE2s in tandem and I wouldn't have spent any money on any licenses or anything like that. But anyway, I wanted to try the Sluck. And we did purchase manual servicing as well, so. Almost there folks, almost there. I've got one more set of points and we'll be rolling on into City Southwest. Okay, I've sussed out where we need to be. Basically, we need to be in the sea yard, so... The first two points that we'll have as we get into City Southwest, approaching from the easterly direction, which we are at the moment, we'll need to make sure those two points are set straight, ahead, straight on ahead, so... Those two points are coming up soon. And then afterwards, that should automatically on <laughs> take us into the sea yard so this is a city southwest would you believe it would you believe it we have made it we've actually made it okay so let's make sure these points are set uh yeah that one needs to change i think yes it does yep so both of those need to change very good 
you know, one uh, one thing I'm terrified of doing in career mode is leaving. Sorry, leaving a wagon or a locomotive somewhere on the main line and then running into it later on in another episode. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Oh, you can tell I've been driving too long. It's uh, really getting tired now. This job has gone on for too long. C3I is where we need to be. C3I! Okay, and at least we won't have to do any more point changes after this. It's just going to be straight on, into the yard, straight ahead. And then we'll have to sort out what we're doing with manual servicing. Oh, I guess I'll be manually servicing all three locomotives. Uh, straight on, straight ahead. Yep, yep, straight ahead. I have no idea what servicing requirements that slug needs, to be honest with you. I couldn't care at the moment. I, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we can just leave it in the shed and just let it rust away. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll probably be using the slug again in future episodes. I'm just going to have to be more careful, I think. These little DE2s, you really can't ask too much of them. Especially in this simulator update, even with the slug, it seems. Doesn't matter that you got an extra six traction motors. At the end of the day, you've just got a, a little old DE2 engine and generator, don't you? Oh, there's a DH4 in there. Maybe that's a sign, because there's a DH4, there's the uh, servicing uh, area there. Which we'll probably back into once we leave our consist here in this area, this siding. Not really a siding, it's a, it's a main line siding, I guess. But yes, that DH4, maybe that's a sign, I don't know. Maybe I'll just purchase the DH4 license for the next episode and get in that DH4. Leave the slug behind. Or... Now that we've got the slug, and we've paid good money for it, we might as well get some money out of it. At least get another one or two drops out of the slug. I wonder how the slug would go hooked up to the DH4 actually. That would be interesting indeed. Okay, well I think we can call it here folks. I'm just going to go ahead and stop here. And then I'm going to do a bit of shuffling around with the engines and get them back towards that servicing area with the slug. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing wrapped up I think, finally. Trying to do a fancy little uh, decouple here and, and let the rest of the train slow down, but yeah, I, I didn't really, um, yeah, never mind, you didn't see that. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, yep, I need to do a bit of shuffling around here, so just bear with me a moment. Okay, well, that's it. I'm not going to waste any more time here. This is basically the train in deciding C2I where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort things out here, do a bit of a locomotive shuffle and uh, I'll see you shortly at the servicing point. Okay, I think we're more or less here now. I'll see if we need to manually service these things or what the go is. I've left one of them running and what I'm thinking of doing is just shuffling them back and forth and then servicing them as I need to. Not sure about this slug. We'll see. Let's go inside first and just see what our fees look like and whatnot. Okay, uh, mm, not many jobs there on the uh, on the old job desk in City Southwest. Let's go ahead and validate. Yes, okay, excellent. So that's, uh, yeah, look at that, time bonus we did not get. <laughs> ah, that's a little bit of a shame, but, uh, well, we're back up to uh, $50,000 there. Uh, we were at 58 at the beginning of this episode, but then again, we didn't have um, the manual service uh, license. We didn't have a few other things either. We didn't have, uh, well, what didn't we have? We didn't have the slug either. But, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just thinking here. Uh, I'm just thinking it's almost not worth manually servicing these locomotives, right? Am I correct here? Because it seems like that's around 56 grand. If you were to divide that by two, you'd still be, well, well above the 11 or $10,000 copay. You'd be around 28K. Am I not wrong or wrong there? I don't know, but... <laughs> Did you hear that guy just screaming? Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that guy could have been in pain. That's terrible. 
Oh, he's still going. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to turn off that locomotive. And yes, I think uh, that's a wrap, folks. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really, really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe, do the thing you got to do or you want to do below. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. Uh, this was episode eight, and what an episode it was with this slug. That that slug, I don't know what to tell you about it. It's just, yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm glad I got it. it cost me twenty k, but yeah really doesn't stop you from using your brain obviously this game really punishes you if you don't use your brain as we've seen <laughs> so yes would i take the slug again yes would i take the dh4 again more yes okay so yeah maybe in the next episode and i said that in the previous episode i realized that we'll get the dh4 license and then we didn't get the dh4 license this time but I think we'll probably get the DH4 license next time, I think. So, yeah, that is uh, where we stand. I think if we... Oh, actually, I just realized. We've got about 51000 in the old wallet at the moment. But if we pay these fees... Uh, it's telling me I can save some money there. I, I don't get it. Uh, I think... Yeah, okay. Maybe I can save some fees on the on the other two but not this 31k one uh, I don't know that's all I know is I just paid 10 grand and I cleared all the fees out so we're down to 40 unfortunately we can't afford the DH4 license right now so that's a shame we can get DM3 license though so maybe I'll do that instead what have we got here on the job table? Ah, well, not much. Uh, looks like we got a shunting job. We've got logistical hall, which I don't think I own from memory. There's a baby crying in the distance there. Uh, logistical hall, no, we don't. 20 grand, that is. Uh, maybe we can get that and do the job, or we could take this job, 51 ton. <laughs> Seven grand, oh man, that's nothing. There's nothing here at City Southwest, so I don't know what we're gonna do in the next episode, folks. Uh, like I said, let me know below in the comments if you wish. Uh, but yeah, I think that was a crazy run that we did today. Went all the way up to Steel Mill, then had to rescue our train, and then finally got it to um, City Southwest. So I don't know. I don't know. I think the main thing is we made it. We didn't blow up anything, and we delivered all of our vehicles. We came all the way down. We stalled the train. We ran out of fuel. We had to leave our train there. We took our light engine, looked for another engine. And there was no engine at Forest South, except for the DM3, which I do love. But don't have a license for, so I had to continue on to Steel Mill. Yeah, like I said, we came back, we picked up our train, and in the end we prevailed. That's the main thing. Uh, this episode is probably going to be burned into my brain for a little while. <laughs> because, yeah, uh, oh, we made it, we made it. Anyway, thank you so much once again for watching, and... Uh, yeah, got 40 grand, so who knows where we'll go to from here. Definitely taking a deviation in licenses in career mode here. We haven't done what I thought we'd do, but there you go. Who knows what next episode is going to hold. Maybe I'll just do something nice and easy. Just a 51 ton haul, somewhere easy. Why not? To food factory, 51 ton. Just take a D2, just one, just one. We'll see. And I'll catch you all in the next one. It's 5 p.m. Time for bed.